the uh, Model UN Club um, approached me to see if they could sponsor Dance on Campus as a fundraiser. Um, and they've been having to raise their own support to go to, to, to Model UN. And uh, so they suggested it. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea. And uh, that model of students, especially student clubs, um, organizing dances is probably a good one because the college didn't sponsor it. Uh, the Model UN Club sponsored it. Um, uh, we let them use the facility, but since it's a, s a student club, you know, they get to use facilities. So, um, so I think that was a, a good model. Uh, that really allowed it to happen. So this was a one-time only event. Some people think that if something happens once, then it's a precedent and you can keep doing it. That's not what this was. The student body was given a dispensation from that particular rule for one time to see how it goes. But again, uh, students came through really well and I think that, um, you know, bodes well maybe for the for the future but you probably will want to we'll have to wait until the new president comes uh before we do any tinkering with the uh, community standards or you know any other major changes christians have had a kind of ambiguous stance towards uh, social dancing and a lot of really conservative protestants um just haven't allowed it and probably th that's a very legitimate strain of uh, of our constituency, and uh, when the community centers were put together a long, long time ago, uh, certainly before I came, before Dr. Walker came, that was part of the part of the, the standard that was set up. But I think attitudes towards dancing have changed, including among conservative uh, evangelicals. So. Possibly it isn't the kind of issue that it was several decades ago when it first got when it, when it first got written into our community standards. This is Alyssa Foster reporting for Herald Media.